హే ఆల్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ హరి విఠల జై విఠల టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కంటిన్యూ ద విఠల్ అండ్ పాండురంగన్ ఎపిసోడ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ లాస్ట్ వీక్ వీ లర్న్ ద స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ భక్త సేనాయి అండ్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ అ న్యూ డివోటి హర్ నేమ్ ఇస్ గోమా బాయ్ దోస్ డేస్ దే వుడ్ గెట్ మ్యారీడ్ ఎట్ అ వెరీ యంగ్ ఏజ్ సమ్టైమ్స్ ద గర్ల్ is to lose her husband at a very young age itself women were not in the habit of going out to work it was not customary for widows to marry again the widow should stay either in mother's place or mother in law's place under somebody's care goma bai lost her husband at a very young age no child she stayed with her elders when she became old her parents in laws all passed away she lived alone took care of her expenses by cooking for others in that village she was a pious and noble lady she was a sincere devotee of vitala pandurangan her lifelong ambition was to worship pandurangan in pandarpur on ashra day ekadashi day it was not possible those days to save money for any travel day to day life itself was a big struggle As she was growing very old she decided to start her journey to Pandarpur at that time nobody would have cash flow in hand even if there was a cash flow as no transport facilities available one had to walk everywhere goma bai did not have money for her basic needs too but she determined to start her journey she took with her the wheat flour whatever she had and she started to walk As she reached Chandrabaha river she had to cross the river to reach Vitthal and temple a boatman was taking the people to the other side of the river people paid money for that service goma bai did not have money and she was hesitant to ask the boatman as usual vitthal and started to play his drama so passengers who were waiting for the boat did not help her even the boatman refused to take her in the boat for free now everyone left night came she was all alone in the darkness the other side of the pandarpur was filled with bhajans and joy here this lady goma bai was all alone praying suddenly she heard the sound of a boat coming and the voice of the boatman the boatman asked her to board the boat quickly she hesitated saying she did not have money the boatman said it is okay party to get in come inside grandma goma boy's happiness knew no bounds she crossed the river thanked that boatman many times goma boy saw many devotees doing bhajan on the banks of the river chandrabaha she also joined in the bhajan the whole night she happily did her bhajan next morning she took bath in the river went to the pandal pundalikan temple then nagara pradakshinam that is going around the city then did bhajan at the entrance of the temple then did pandurangas pad sparsham then worshiped radhika rani and came out of the temple her life long longing was fulfilled with the wheat flour she had she prepared some rotis for the dwadashi paranai suddenly she saw the boatman she approached the boatman and offered him the rotis out of gratitude when she thanked him again and again the boatman told her grandma i did not bring you i went home straight after that goma bai who knew the leelas of vitalan could understand something she got delighted and joyful tears were fell down from her eyes she ran to the temple again and went near the sanctum santorium of vitalan there she did not see vitalan but the boatman was standing instead smiling she fainted and fell down like an uprooted tree the devotees there helped her to regain consciousness now goma bai realized that the boatman who took her in the boat to the other side was none other than her beloved vitalan and she thanked him people around her surprised to see vitalan's kindness towards this old lady and they understood her piety 
Gomayabai permanently stayed nearby the temple. She has sung the most beautiful songs on Vitalan. She lived a simple and saintly life, always chanted Vital's names and glories and finally given salvation by Vitalan. Jai Vitala, Hari Vitala. Shall we see another person's story next week? Until then, have a good day.